DeWalt starting as the gray Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we got Bonus starting as yellow Protoss. This is Fighting Spirit Mania. Bond currently up two to one in the fifth set of potentially, I think it, so now that I think about it, Boneth, if he wins this set, could end it in the seventh set. Same thing for DeWalt, opposite direction, because it's the first to four sets overall. Currently, the set score is tied two to two. So with the set score tied two to two and three sets, <laughs> we're in the middle, three sets remaining, becomes the best two out of three, right? Mentally. So let's do all sorts of math to make this a lot more confusing than it needs to be here at the beginning. But what's crazy to me is, and it, this is a testament to the caliber of these guys, despite being into this, I don't know how many matches, the games still feel fresh and exciting to me. And I'm wondering if there was a pause and uh, either with that win, Bonneth had some additional refreshment or if there was a pause and a re-engagement because you'll notice the APM has shifted back up for Bonneth. So, and we'll see if that continues in this match up to the 300 mark, which is usually where he's at. In the previous match, it was kind of lagging around 200. So I think I'll try to keep an eye on that as like a mental indicator of the energy level of both these guys. I need to remember to potentially do that at the... Uh, by the way, um, actually, might uh, might be when this video is released. No, probably after. Actually, there's the Seattle land. And hopefully the games from that were absolutely stupendous. Looks like we're going to see a double gate opener from DeWalt top left. I've noticed that in the top left-hand corner, there is something about this spawn where I think players like going the two gate opener more than not. And I'm kind of curious what the reason for that is. We have gateway into simulator from Bon at the opposite side. No defensive first sell it. And DeWalt going to check cross spawn first is not going to and we'll see where he goes with the, the follow up is certainly going to be able to deny information in the short term but is he going to go for three zealots and then a simulator himself we'll have to see I have not seen a full dedication of two gate where we saw like the five zealot dedication so finds nothing bottom right goes all the way in finds nothing bottom right it looks like Bonneth is going to go I think he saw the positioning of that probe as it was coming in, so going to readjust, and rather than going to top right, is going to make his way across the map to the left. Zealot now holding the low ground, and a Dragoon being constructed. I wonder where that probe was going right this second. So Zealot holding, two additional Zealots built, and we do see the simulator has been queued up behind this. Three Zealots on the way, that, so Bonneth has the forewarning. Sees the, sig the, the Zealot on the ramp, but nothing else behind it. And Dragoon about halfway finished. So now the curiosity is, is does DeWalt, is DeWalt able to execute as well as Bonneth is? This particular build. Cybernetic score built after the fact. Pylon built after the fact. A probe just waiting in the wings. This probe going to go ahead and return. The Dragoon making its way out wants to try to get as much damage as possible on these Zealots. As they're making their way in, soften them up. Now holding that ramp three on one. Initially, a nice little trade out to turn it to one on one. Dragoon now working on the Zealot. Some nice micro there from Bonnet at the ramp. And Zealot got one more shot off. Unfortunately, Bonnet, okay, they're able to retarget. But it's two Dragoons versus two Zealots. And still no workers wiped out at all. The Walt's still up a few workers in the midst of this just because of the nature of the build, able to scatter a little bit of the, the gas line, able to get one worker right there. Is he going to be able to get another? Looks like not. So only gets one worker. Bonnet's still uh, well behind, though, as far as the overall worker count. We are going to have the Dragoons to follow up. Range queued up on both ends. And again, you get... A robotics facility also was revealed, I think, in the midst of that. So going to go ahead and go shuttle in the midst of this, and we'll see what the response is from DeWalt. Does he just want to stick on two gates? Go up to three gates, or does he want to, in fact, go uh, Robotics himself? Bonneth holding right this second. I do want to say, if anybody's going to know a way to skim an advantage off this, it's going to be Bonneth, considering the amount of times he's executed this build. Observatory, Robotic Support Bay, um, he's the one who's noted for it in the Foreigner community, at the very least. Going to get that Observer out first. Two Dragoons making their way out mid-map initially. It looks like it's just two gates thus far for DeWalt, and I'm wondering if this looks like it's going to be two gate into expand here for DeWalt. Might go for a... So he's moving in with the Zealot. 
to maybe test and see if there's a natural expansion. As soon as he looks and sees, though, he's going to have to make a very rapid exit. The observer out on the map. So, yeah, able to check. No natural expansion. And it looks like he's going to fan out and hold. He's actually at a deficit right here. And he's, wow, walking up into this. So, four spots the four dragoons there. The And I think he might have seen the shimmer of the observer as well. So, has to know this is a robotics build. Building his own robotics in the midst of this. And trying to force Bonneth into more of a defensive reaver rather than an offensive reaver. And this is a... Not exactly a game of chicken, but it is kind of a risky play. Being that he'll be at a technical deficit. And Dewalt still sh trying to push his way into this. And actually, so loses a Dragoon on his end, which is going to continue to exacerbate that differential. He did weaken up a Dragoon. Keep in mind it was one gate versus two, but at cross positions, or at uh, distance positions, that oftentimes equalizes... By the time the distance is traveled, the Observer able to sneak in and see that it's two-gate robotics. And now Bonneth making his way up with that Reaver in tow. The Walt briefly holding, able to pick off one Dragoon, but loses and able to pick off that Dragoon. And trying to make Bonneth chase his Dragoons out towards the right. So he's keeping more of a defensive stance towards his natural expansion. The Dragoon, I think he recognizes he's got superior shots. So able to do that chase off. Observatory Robotics support bay behind this, so... And looking... Was he looking for a cutoff route? Just holding those units in between. The Walt regathering with five. And now we got two Reavers scooped up for Bonneth. Bonneth, usually, once he has advantages like this, likes playing into his opponent's face. The Observer trying to scoop back out to see the Dragoon positioning. And it looks like he is going to go ahead and field forward with these two Reavers. Gonna be a minute before the Reaver's even out on the opposite side, so Bonneth might be able to crash in. He's got that tech advantage. Might as well utilize it. This is very, very dicey for DeWalt now. One Dragoon to lead, and he's gonna go ahead and retreat up to the high ground. But with that Observer out on that forward edge, that Reaver can take free shots up the ramp. And I think DeWalt knows it, so he's trying to spread. Might get some... Yeah, trying to get some free shots. The Zealot trying to check down that edge and Bonneth rather than risking anything he knows he's got an advantage right now so just going to try to hold that natural get his own base up Reaver out to try to encroach and challenge this but the more that Bonneth he doesn't have to engage this is the more he delays right this second the more he ends up ahead in the long term he needs to be very very careful on that edge shots exchanged both directions looks like four gates for DeWalt, an expected turnaround, recognizing that he's kind of blockaded in. Wants to turn around with the unit flood. Wonder recaptures natural expansion. Bonneth also upgrading speed in the midst of this. Big shot on DeWalt's Reaver. And yeah, this is looking grim now. Not to say it's game over, but a lot of advantages to Bonneth overall. Also peeling off a Dragoon just to check. Dragoons moving in. We're looking to pick off an Observer. Some Dragoons losing their lives as a result. The Walt actually has surged ahead in quite a bit of supply. A portion of that is in workers. Is he Paul? Is he's okay? He has paused the worker production. Observer picked off, which is actually that hurts a lot because you really need that forward spotting to know if you can make your way down. Trying to elevate her. Along that right hand edge. And is able to lead with, get some information right there. Is this DeWalt? It's hard to tell. I think that might be DeWalt's observer that survived. It must have been Bonnet's observer that got picked off. But he's got. Never mind. They must have just moved across. No, I think this is still Bonnet's observer. DeWalt making his way down. The Reaver is not even in this fight right this second for DeWalt. Now waking up and starting to make their way down. An attack from the rear. But the thing is, is even if he white, even if he got a good exchange here with all of this army, this is still a much later natural expansion, and I believe Bonneth is going to have plenty to defend as far as the turnaround. And it looks like okay, yeah, that was both were Dewalt observers. Man, he had a lot of time on the robotics. One of the Reavers slow walking his way back, might get caught, 
And actually, I take it back. So we got, okay, we got five gateways worth of production. So Bonneth needs to buy a little bit of time. They get at least a round of Dragoons out. Getting some good damage right there. I thought he had, uh, I thought he paused at the, the four gateways instead of dropping that fifth. But now DeWalt actually going to be able to move into that natural expansion. Is he going to be able to pick off the Nexus here and reverse fortunes? Potentially. Two, two Reavers and Dragoons now. Focus firing that Nexus and Boneth getting caught as he was trying to transition tech. This is looking like uh, two games ago where the Nexus get swiped out because Boneth overcommitting. And just getting caught as far as the turnaround, how many gateways we're looking at. So this is four versus four versus five gateways, but this is usually off one base a little bit with 23 workers a little bit much. You have to skip Reavers in many instances to get the uh, amount of Dragoons out, I believe. An Observer picked off out on the front. So where I thought this was going to be an easy win for Bonneth as far as map control, DeWalt able to sneak right back out. The Observer noticing there's not a lot of defenses at home base, though. And the shuttle making its way across. Does DeWalt see Bonneth's shuttle? He does spot the shuttle as it's making its way back across, but is he going to be able to get units there in time? To help defend it. Some workers already making their way towards the natural to saturate. A lot of the workers trying to peel across. Bonneth trying to find a target. Not able to get a shot off as of yet. Sweeping around, at least able to deny a bit of the natural expansion. Dud right there. And just going to retreat. So nothing doing there for Bonneth now. And he's still denied that natural expansion. DeWalt has more workers now. Better saturation. Uh, the gateway count is in Bonus favor, but again, without having the the superior saturation, it doesn't help him much. Still has to go four gateway. I think it's four gateways in a robotics are about as all you can produce with the midst of it. So we are seeing kind of these gateways remaining silent. Bonus now making his way down to try to crack this natural expansion. Reaver and shuttle get wiped out in the midst of this. So if the wall just picks up the Reavers and leaves, he should be at an advantage overall. Looks like he's just going to try to stay. And he, actually, is he going to win this fight? Moves in some reinforcements. I take it back. Is going to be able to just, with what he has on the ground, hold, destroy everything, and reinforce. And this is now getting grim. This is now ugly. DeWalt, I was not expecting that. Bonneth, GG's. Great play from DeWalt, top to bottom. So four gate turnaround. A nice engagement at the natural. And then Bonneth just get, getting t caught, teching a little bit too hard there. I'm wondering if he went 4-gate instead of 5 and got an earlier round of Dragoons if we would have seen a different story all the way around. Anyway, great match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.